I try to teach you guys everything I can about how I reached nearly 2100 Gilo back in Season 2 in my various videos. I try to show you what I've learned over the years and try to explain how you can use similar techniques to help climb the ladder yourself. And of course a lot of you do come on my Facebook or Twitter and leave little messages mentioning how I helped you climb a division or two or you give some sort of personal anecdote of how I helped you and that couldn't make me happier. It's always great to hear that my advice is helping. But there's still a number of people who say they watch my videos, they watch their replays, they watch pro streams, they do everything they possibly can to study up research and prepare themselves for ranked, but they're still stuck at whatever division they're at. Well, today I'm going to address all of you one last time. All of you who are saying, I'm stuck and I just don't know what to do. You want to know the secret to get Challenger? You want to know the secret to get Diamond, Platinum, Gold, Silver, whatever? Well, I'm sorry, but there is no secret. I can't tell you to suddenly start eating two pairs a day, and after four days, the pairs will make your KD ratio twice as high. I can't give you any sort of gimmick that will make you good. But obviously, there are certain things that will help. There are things that people do that result in them being pro, and there are things people do that result in them never getting out of bronze. I've done my best to help share some tricks and information with you in my videos, and of course, I'll always keep on bringing out more and more, but I think I left out one important thing. Let me tell you a quick story. Back in 2010, I started playing League of Legends, and like most of you, I told all my friends and got them playing too. Well, one guy who started playing with me was introduced to me through a mutual friend while we were playing Crossfire. He really got hooked on League just as much as the rest of us. I'd like to respect his privacy by not giving out his League name, so let's just call him Fool. He started playing maybe a day after I had. This is a guy who's had just as much experience playing League as I have. We've been playing for the same amount of time, both of us had very little Dota or Han experience before League, and both of us put in around the same amount of time each day when it comes to playing video games. The only difference is where we ended up. I ended up with my highest ELO being 2081, learning so much about the game that I was able to start a successful YouTube channel based off of it. He, on the other hand, has never gotten out of bronze, and a while ago he quit ranked altogether. I spent the past two and a half years with plenty of ambition and a deep desire to become one of the best players in the world, while he wanted to look and feel good. He wanted to go 20 and 1 every game, playing in co-op vs AI or custom games with bots, even before co-op vs AI was released, and before he fell into his routine of only playing against bots, he would always just play normals. Apart from 30 or so ranked games in seasons 1 and 2, he spent the past two years playing random champions in normal, custom, or co-op vs AI games to have the satisfaction of a KD similar to his old KDs in Crossfire or Call of Duty. Although he probably never felt the same kind of frustration and anger we feel when we go on a bad losing streak, he's never felt the kind of exhilaration and empowerment of getting a pentakill against five other people in a ranked game. He's rarely even just felt the satisfaction of winning a ranked game, having the realization that he's just outplayed five other human beings, that he's more skilled and talented than other people out in the world, and he's certainly never felt the satisfaction of realizing he's in the top 25%, 10%, or even 1% of players in the world. That's all fine and dandy. You know, if you just want to play co-op versus AI to feel good or to enjoy a good KD, then that's fine. He can play the game however he wants, and you can too. But to everyone out there who wants to get to a certain ELO, a certain rating, league, bracket, whatever, whether you're just trying to get up to Bronze 4 to prove to your Bronze 5 friend that you're a better AD carry than him, or you want to go pro, all you have to do is practice. Play the game. Work hard for your goals and you will reach them. It'll take plenty of time. There will be frustrations. You'll hate this game on plenty of days and you'll hate your teammates even more. But you'll also get the thrill of getting a pentakill, the rush of adrenaline as you ace the enemy team and push to the nexus to win your final placement match. And you'll feel the excitement in your face as you realize you just proved that you're better than another five league players out in the world. You can choose to play this game or not. You can choose how you want to play it. You can say whatever you want about it. But in the end, if you really want something, go out and get it. If you really work hard enough for it and for long enough, if you truly follow the advice that pros, other video makers, and I give you, if you practice and try to achieve your goal, you will get there. 
Even if you don't agree, even if you think you need luck or opportunity or some other factor to reach your goal, I can still tell you this. You'll have a much better chance of succeeding if you try your hardest every day of your life, no matter how frustrating it may be. You won't get to challenger by complaining about your teammates on the forums. You'll have a better chance sucking up your loss, recognizing your mistakes, and trying your hardest next game. I can't give you a step-by-step -step formula to solve your problems for you when you get stuck. I can't be the one to get you to whatever league or goal you have in mind. You have to be the one to go out and face the victories and defeats yourself. It will be frustrating at times, but in the end, you'll reach your goal if you work for long enough to achieve it. You'll get there, and you'll have a hell of a fun time on the journey. That's how you get to Challenger. That's how you get to wherever you want to go. That's how everyone else got there. There's no magic secret that anyone can give you. I'll always try to give you helpful information, tips, and neat little tricks you can use. Hopefully you gathering information on YouTube, pro streams, and from your replays will end up speeding up the process. But in the end, it all comes down to you. Are you going to go out and make your goal happen or not? Yes.